So they go into the settings um, and I go into accounts. You can see here I have one account uh, for Gangplank, I have one account for work, I have one account for personal. So I've got three different accounts uh, set up. Uh, one of these is a, or two of these are Google, uh, one a personal Gmail, one a Google account, and one a Office 365 exchange account. And so now if I were to look at those, I can then go into my calendar settings, calendars and lists, and I can create uh, various calendar sets inside of this. I can say, show me only my game plank, right? You can see here I have just the Gangplank items selected, right? Um, and tasks selected. If I say personal, this is going to be my Gangplank plus uh, my personal items only. And if I say strong mind, I just want just my work items. You'll see that I just have my work items or an all or merged calendars really is gonna give me my selection, right? So I just want the boxes, I don't care about, these are used to schedule um, event space, so I don't really care about those in this particular video, I only care about them in the game plank view. Um, and I've got those all merged. So now if I come over here, you can see, I can say, show me just the what's on game plank docket for my game plank calendar. I can say, show me just what's in my personal calendar. Um, and I can say, show me what's just in the strong mind calendar. Or I can say, show me what's in my merged calendar listing. And that works pretty well. So now I can kind of toggle uh, between spaces how I want. Um, additionally, if I look at this, you can set what the default calendar is for each one of those sets. You can also say when to activate that set. I don't really use those features much, but you, they're nice to have if, if you want them. Um, additionally, if you go in and you look at, you have a fantastical account here, which means if you set all of these accounts up, those will transfer over to the fantastical account, which makes it easy to put on another machine or put on mobile just by logging in, um, which is kind of nice. Everything transfers, including your calendar sets. Um, so you might say, Okay, but how does that solve the managing multiple pieces? So let's say um, uh, I have a personal event that is happening and I'm, I'm working this Friday. Um, and so I have some personal event that comes in. And so I say I have a personal event foo um, from 1 to 1.45 to 3 o'clock. And I add this event. Now, if you were to go to my personal calendar, you would see it. You would not see it if you were in my work calendar. But I can simply highlight this event. I can copy it, Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V, or you can just edit, copy, and paste. You can now see that it's created another instance of that exact event. If I take that event and now I just double click to open it and I say I want to put on my work calendar, I now have it on my work calendar and my personal calendar and merges those two things together. So it shows as one event to me and maintains as one event to me. But <clears throat> for viewers of my work calendar, they would see it as busy or viewers of my personal calendar, they would see it busy as well. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds is now I can kind of merge calendars together and have them blocked off. It's a little bit of work to do. You know, you've got to copy them or be intentional about it, but it does allow you to create space to do that.